I'm doing an update then. I probably don't have to say too much of an update because I have crutches. Alright, follow up to P90X2. I got to day 82. You saw the results for day 60 and day 75. Um, I injured myself for day um, 82. I had to stop the program and I thought I could heal. Well, I still needed to train while I was healing for my Air Force fitness test. So I was um, trying to make a big catch up when um, I healed from my injuries. It's lower body injuries, plus I had other things going on. I started doing HIIT training, high intensity interval training, by um, doing sprints on the track, always heading to the track, because I had to end the um, P90X2. I was focusing on the components of the Air Force Fitness Program, which is like push-ups, sit-ups, and running. So, during sprints, and I'm, I'm pretty fast, apparently that's what people tell me, and I'm, I'm still heavy and I'm running. It felt, I was out there, I was going fast, trying to see how fast I can go. All of a sudden, it felt like God punched me in the back of my calf. So I went down and I'm like, dang, what did I do? What did, you know, what did God catch me doing? So I had to go to the hospital that day, and um, I got diagnosed by somebody I did not notice any certificates up in, you know, military health care. So um, it was somebody who didn't have any certificates. It was an enlisted individual. She looked at my calf. She um, jiggled it because it's moving. She said, yep, you got a calf tear. And she told me it would be good in four to six weeks. This was the second, hey girls, this was the second week of June. She said I should be good in four to six weeks. My fitness test was in July, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go with you. She told me to do a, a rice, rest ice, uh, compression and elevation. And she said I should be good. So I laid off the leg. Um, I started doing another program, which I'm going to be finished. I got 15 days. As soon as this is, um, I'm off of these crutches, hopefully after the MRI. I am going to finish the program because it was low intensity. I didn't have any injuries from the program and I was doing quite well. Well, I iced it and did everything. I mean, I was going to bed with ice because after about four to six weeks, it wasn't feeling any better. I referred to Dr. Google and um, it referenced Achilles tear feeling exactly like calf tear. And some of the ways you can check for it is the dimples in the side of the ankle and the back. It's gone. And I sort of realized it, maybe it wasn't my calf because my calf had stopped hurting after about, I'd say, seven to ten days. But it was so hard to walk my Achilles due to limping and compensating. My knee went out. And I have a whole bunch of other issues associated with walking weird. So I still um, took my fitness test on July 25th because I didn't get a profile or anything because I, um, I have heart issues that if they put me on a walk test, I'm going to fail. So, and this is some of the surprises from the fitness test. All right. I did my, um, I was four pounds less than I was my previous year fitness test. But the most bizarre thing was my waist measure a 26.5, which was crazy. So the program I'm going to finish out and give you guys a whole review of. It reduced, it reduced the size of my waist. Crazy. 26.5 and I only lost 4 pounds. Um, it reduced it probably by more than 2 inches from the previous PT test. I scored instead of 100, which I always shoot for, I scored a 97.1. With an Achilles tear and I think they said I have heel spurs and the issues with my knee so I don't test for another year and I went to got to go off base or um, and get seen I got my x-rays I'm gonna get my MR and then I actually diagnosed why it's been over a couple of months so with that being said just like I said um, 15 days from the time I'm released from these crutches to do my to give you guys a tour of a lovely awesome program that I have been sleeping on also today how everybody does their unboxing. I wanted to do the unboxing. Oh, I'm sorry. And this is me from the program I'm doing, which is not really intensive or whatever. So you got your little views if you want to see Jillian pose, but it's gonna come. Because now since I've been laid up, I'm so focused on getting tone again. But this is the unboxing of a new program. And I'm so excited. Every time I watch the little um, commercials and you 
YouTube videos about it. I drool because I want this one so bad. So I'm waiting to start it. Alright, it comes in the box. And I guess this is my lucky seven bonus disc. Yep, that's right, ladies. Body Beast. Um, it's got a lot of eye candy on the video, but I, oh man, it just seems like more, I don't want to do any cardio, anything that messes with my knees, I want to go all strength training. So, it comes with a nice vid, price, and it, it was not, wasn't expensive as I thought, it was like $87 and some change, which is like so much less expensive than other programs. It also gives you the information about the challenge and using the site, which I've been using since, I think, 2004. Books of the Beast, which I'm assuming is an eating guide, and also information about the program. Mom, can I wash my hands? Yes, babe, please wash your hands. That's awesome. And, like every beach body, the lovely little box set, and the only thing I can say about this box set from doing um, P90X2, I wish the box set was more like um, Charlene Extreme and the original P90. I really hate pulling them in and out of the folder, so I know one of the beach bodyers had a program showing you how to do it. And that's all. If you do order it, I got the low budget version. The other ones come with subs and all that good stuff. I guess protein from Build and Body. And I'm assuming I always say hello, ladies. And I do know there are men who watch it, watch the vids. Oh my um, gosh! I guess that'll be more interesting. Shh. That'll be more interesting to the men, but I think I'll be starting at the end of this month, hopefully. And um, I just want to say thank you guys all for your support and um, all your messages checking up on me. I'm so sorry I was gone for so long, but I just been having so many little medical issues, I guess due to me being old. But I'm going to get back on track with the vids and everything with my quest for Jillian abs and quads. And um, just like I said, if you have any questions about this program, and I will have my current program, which is mm, Mood Wayne, I'll give you guys updates. Um, bye, ladies. Peace.